That is more than ridiculous. Cam is lying. He was lying for sure. I definitely beat him 13 to 5. <laughs> and those five shots that he made, I turned my back and was like, go ahead. I kind of mumbled that it was in a post-up, you know. We were in shoot around. And now, um, yeah, I beat him 15 to 5, matter of fact. 15 to 5. It's an ongoing game, so the score don't start over. You know, at the end of the season, we're going to tally up the points. But he's down a lot. <laughs> Is he going to be down more now? Yeah, he gonna get down 20, 25 soon. <laughs> but he had, what was he, what was he tonight? Like four for seven. Oh, four for seven. You know he feeling himself when he coming, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I was excited to talk to him, you know what I mean? I'm sure his boys and hit him up on Twitter and send him texts and, you know, he feeling himself. So he gonna come in here and fabricate. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... <laughs> What kind of what, what kind of boost though did it? I mean, you guys are down a dozen in third. Um, Steve obviously looking for different rotation, different shake it up. Yeah. What kind of boost did Cam give you? I mean, he gave us the boost we needed. You know, somebody that can score off the dribble, off the catch like that. Um, you know, when a team, young team like this, they're going to send all their resources at James and myself. You know, so. They playing super physical and super tight to me, and they gonna bring over some help when I drop. You know what I mean? So guys are gonna be open, and Cam was. They did a. They left him open. I guess he wasn't on the scout report, but they left him open, and he made plays. And in transition, he got out, tied the game for us. And um, that and one was a. It was huge for us, and I think that pushed us over the top to kind of like, because we were down 10, 11 the whole game, you know. So when we got back into it in the end of the third, that was huge for us. He's talked about you kind of mentoring him. What do you what do you think it does for him that in a situation like this, you guys, all the veterans, were looking for him in that spot? Yeah, we just talk the game. I wouldn't call it mentor. I mean, we all just exchanging information. You know what I'm saying? We all trying to. He's seeing he's seeing my game from a different vantage point. You know, coming off the bench, I'm seeing his game. You know, so we just exchanging information and going over stuff that we see and trying to sharpen our skills and our tools as our IQ as mental basketball players first. So um, it's good to see a young dude like Cam who's into it like that, you know what I mean? It's, you can tell he's a student. So we need him to build on this. I mean, we don't need him to be comfortable because he had a little 11-point game because he made a couple shots, you know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on, I'm always on him, but he always on me too, but I'm gonna be on him even more now. What was, uh, what was the key defensively? I mean, you got down 11, I think, at halftime. Um, obviously, you got it on the boards. What was the key defensively that Steve stressed in that locker room? Uh, I just think we switched our coverage up a bit. They were they were getting, getting kind of free there in the pick and roll, and Darius Gollum was getting downhill pretty easily after a few screens. and. You know, so we just wanted to close that space up a bit. We started switching some stuff. We changed up our lineup, our matchup, I mean, and we was able to keep them from the paint, and uh, we rebounded, you know. Uh, they all rebounded us, but, like, we missed a lot of shots in the first half, too, you know, so it wasn't like, um, oh, yeah, they killed us on the offensive boards, too. Um, but for the most part, the, us losing in the rebounds didn't hurt us when we kept getting stops, you know what I'm saying? We uh, held them to 38%. So, you know, when you do that, when they miss a lot of shots, we still put ourselves in a good position to win. What would you say uh, Marcus' contribution was in the second half, you know, starting the way he did? And, and I think we had 12 points in the second half. I mean, just being in the right spots and making the right plays. You know, big men, um, lately big men have been just, uh, other coaches have been using their bigs to help so much off of the, the penetrators. And, you know, so when we get space in that corner, L was be able to knock that shot down. They feel um, less confident leaving him wide open to come help, you know. So um, he's been uh, taking advantage of those opportunities. And to get a double-double tonight was huge for us. Cool. I know these guys haven't talked to you since before the, the game that you missed. What, uh, from your vantage point, what went into to sitting out that game? Uh, no, we had a couple days um, in between those two games. And, uh, 
just wanted to get another extra day of rest and see how it feels after that. So it felt good today. That is good news about the right shoulder. That is probably good news yep. a couple nights from now when they go to Boston. We'll talk about that in a minute. In the meantime, there was a big swing moment there yeah. late in the game that you wanted to address. Yeah, 106, 105, and here you get Ricky Rubio. He's going to get the ball beyond the three-point line. They call him for an offensive foul. If they had called that on Patty Mills, which I think would have been a tough call as well, that's Ricky Rubio going to the line shooting three free throws. So immediately after this, it's 106-105, and Darius Garland gets he's falling asleep a little bit. Harden drives. James Johnson dishes it out to Patty Mills, knocks down the three. That was a six-point swing right there. 109-105 Brooklyn Nets, which was all part of a 7-0 Brooklyn Net run. Could have been Cavs by two, and then you wonder yeah. how the it's Nets a lot, you know, It's that, putting yeah. a lot more pressure on you now to score on that possession. But remember, you do have Kevin Durant and James Harden on your team. So you're down two with those two guys. They'll figure something out. All right, LaMarcus Aldridge, as we've said, figured it out tonight. A double-double, his first of the season. 21 points, 11 rebounds. He has met the media. Let's listen in. Lamarcus, in, in what ways do we see tonight how you guys benefited from having a veteran group that's seen a lot of basketball? Uh, you know, just being able to slow down, you know, kind of, uh, you know, take our time and just, you know, just uh, play our game, you know, not get rattled, you know, not get down, just keep chipping away at it and just knowing that we had to keep raising, you know, our level of defense and offense. What changed in the down 11 at halftime? What changed really in the second half in your mind that that really played the biggest factor in turning the game around? Just brought guys just brought more energy. You know, guys, you know, were up on the ball screens. You know, hitting the boards. I think you know, you know, in every way. I thought guys just just picked it up. I thought you know, first half. You know, we, you know, we were all kind of you know like one or two steps slow. But I thought in the second half, you know, we definitely picked it up. What was your thought about starting the second half and playing as, as much as you did uh, in place of Blake there? Uh, did, did, did it surprise you at all that Steve came to you? Uh, it definitely uh, caught me off guard. Um, you know, it was fine. You know, I I was playing well tonight, so it made sense. You know, um, trying to open up the floor for uh, James and uh, Kevin. You know, they, they were packing the paint, so you know, we were trying to take advantage of uh, JA. You know, going to uh, try to block shots. So you know, it definitely made sense. But uh, I was surprised for sure. Is that something teams you notice have done more over the last whatever last few games, last week or two? In terms of using their big <clears throat> pack off, uh, pack against KD. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you have to, you know, he's such a uh, elite scorer that you know you're trying to make it tough for him. And, you know, you're trying to send, you know, two or three guys at him, and you know that's where you know I try to help by you know trying to knock down shots, and then hopefully that opens up the floor, you know, for him and James to you know try to get to the rim. Christian. Hey, LaMarcus, I know you got to Brooklyn before, uh, well, after Jarrett was traded, but I'm just wondering, A, what you thought of his game, and B, what did, what did you need to do to kind of slow him down? Like, he got it going early, and then you were able to kind of get him out of his element a bit. Uh, no, nah, he's a great young big, man. Good hands, block shots, uh, athletic, you know. I've been a fan of this game, you know, ever since Texas, obviously. But, no, nah, man, he, he's been solid. You know, he gives them a... a, a, a different dynamic at the big as far as, you know, being able to finish, you know, Putting pressure on the rim, you know, you know when you read the uh, ball screen. So he was definitely great tonight. Um, I was just trying to, you know, just try to keep him off the boards and, you know, just try to keep him in pick and rolls and, you know, just try to tire him out a little bit. And, and second, uh, just what did you make of the impact that Cam had on the game tonight? Uh, instant hot, uh, instant offense, you know, that's what I call him because he came in the game and, you know, he was instantly getting to the rim, knocking down threes. And, you know, when you when you score that easy as he does, you know, it's just, you know, it was it was easy for him. Um, and I thought he was a big pickup for us, you know, for his energy, knocking down shots and just, you know, trying to uh, 